as of me making this video, we are already halfway <laughs> into getting this figure. The fans have spoken. To you naysayers, me. <laughs> you didn't convince enough people not to buy this. Um, I want to specify and clarify. We're not talking about anyone. Please stop taking these attack, like taking my videos personal because I made a video. All right. This video is made by me about anyone. If you think it's about you, then it probably is about you, but it's not about you because I'm not thinking about you. I'm just thinking about what I've heard from a lot of people, which was not a lot of people that were like, this is, this is bad. This is the price is bad. Well, how, how much do you think it should be? $80. And if it was $80, would you buy it? Commander class is not $80. Commander class MSRP at the moment is 89. It's probably going to go to 99 because I know for a fact, Ultra Magnus was what 96 and Optimus Prime I got from Amazon on sale for 78 but it was you know going for the, the usual 89 to 100 dollars and I thought about what some people said about it being commander class and thinking that could that would work everything can't go to commander class because the biggest thing the number one reason that you won't see these in commander class is the budget you know what I'm saying? And that is true because the budget is weird. Commander class, so far, we're waiting for Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime and whatever other few commander classes are released. So what do we get? About two to three commander classes a year? So no, they're not going to do that because the budget for commander class is probably slim because actually that's going to retail and they would take a loss. Now, I know some of y'all are mad and saying that, well, this should have been cheaper and blah, 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 blah. But I guarantee you third party made this, this would be more because we're talking about inflation on Hasbro. There's inflation on 3P and third party is always more expensive. And we know this because if you've been buying third party, the average deluxe figure, even back in like 2015 was $50 back when deluxes were going for about 15 case in point, the fans projects, headmasters, uh, they came in at what? 50, 60 bucks a piece only to be eclipsed by inferior Hasbro versions. And then the price came down. I don't want anything third party anymore. I've shunned third party for very few figures because the outcome is always the same. Hasbro releases figure, man, values drop, 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 drop. It's a waste of money. And then no one complains about legend class figures, but they, but, but they do so much. It doesn't matter. It's still a small figure with the same amount of small ass plastic. And you're paying upwards of over a hundred dollars for some of those things, but you swear by it because of how many parts it has. So how many parts does Optimus Prime have in this thing? A lot, especially Optimus Prime. Yes. He's an armor parts former, but all those parts add up. And eventually the cost is going to occur. And I thought about it. I was just like, so basically they are about a hundred bucks a piece. If you add in the God sword and the ramp and the other little robot, we're going to get to the tiers 250. So here you go. Since y'all love to talk and complain about price, you see this thing right here, banana, banana force. This is banana force. Their version of fire convoy or Optimus prime from RID. This will run you the lowest price of $119, which I think was used upwards to about 180. This figure does not transform. It is made of metal. Don't remember how large it is, but I don't think it's as large as the one we're getting. Yeah, it's a nice posable figure, but it don't have the playability and you're spending a whole bunch of money on it just for a posable figure. No one complained about it. No one said anything about it. Why do I, it's overpriced. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And it don't even look exactly like the original model, like how they <laughs> this version does. But again, you know, it's third party and everybody's going to say, oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread it's third party. Now you understand. No, I understand. You're an idiot. Now, let's say on the aftermarket, you want to say, well, I could just get the originals because because they pretty much do the same thing as the originals. Wrong, because I can guarantee you when you get your little Omega uh, Prime built together and you wonder why I can't stand up, not because you bought a used figure. That was the new figure when I, I'm telling you, I've done that combination so many times. It'll make your head spin. It's a very long process. You have to unfold Ultra Magnus. And you have all the parts left behind from the fire company. Man, look here. I stood that thing up. 
and we had to make it lean back and then it leaned forward just so it could kind of stand but it won't stand and then the price of the originals now granted they don't go for what people are selling them for but to get a good inbox just fire convoy it's going to cost you over a hundred dollars over a hundred for the old one now granted the old one and here is the tru set is better no it's not better i mean the tr you know it's the older one the older one of the fire convoy is decent but magnus not so much and this is the tru version um clear version which 200 dollars for this one is a steal where i've seen this thing in in box go for three four hundred dollars Yes, it does come with the Master Sword, but it's the original just clear, and it still has the same horrible tolerance when you form Omega Prime. You literally cannot form Omega Prime with that figure, any version, any version, without the chance of it falling over. It is top heavy, and the legs of Fire Convoy do not support the upper body because that is the actual middle ground. So what happens is, when you put it together, you're holding it, it's fine. When you let it go, it falls over. My thing is, is when we get this, there's going to be a stability fix, mainly in, it has to be a tightening of joints for the Optimus Prime. Because if not, it's going to tip over. And even holding the sword, oh my God, that thing was so, man, <laughs> you better lean it up against something. So we know we're going to get the Matrix Blade or, you know, they don't want to call it the God Sword because that's what it was. Also, we know that we're supposed to be getting the uh, Fortress Maximus re uh, reissue. There's your God Sword. Although it's pink or purplish, um, you know, but it has plenty of God Swords you can buy anyway. But the fact that this set is going to be redone with the modern articulation, it's going to be a lot of fixes. And for the fans that have owned Omega Prime, whether you've owned the uh, Takara version, uh, Godfire Convoy, or if you own the American version, the one thing you're going to know, if you know it does not stand up, this is going to be better. So better tooling, modernization, we haven't seen any inkling of a true R.I.D. release of any of the figures literally in the two decades. So they finally do it as a, a HasLab, which would be perfect. It's a perfect, a perfect gift set, just like the uh, TRU set. It's just not shiny. It's just not clear. That's all. But it's going to be better. They said it's going to be back in my metal, just like the original. Um, I'm just happy for stability because I love the combination, but it just did not stand up. And that was the only downside. Like it's literally, you just you just had Mag you, most people have combined. Don't combine it. They usually just have Magnus and Prime standing next to each other. That's how I did it on my show. Because like I said, when I came home from work one day, it was, and it was on a low shelf, it still fell. And knock down all the other toys. But again, you know, the negative naysayers know everything and we know nothing. So, so be it. Don't buy it. However, it would be your loss. I think you would be missing out on probably, arguably, I'm hoping, probably the best HasLab we have yet. Because nobody, Unicron was big. Uh, Star Saber was a little disappointing. Death Source, a bit better. But this, I think, is going to be the best one. We just got to wait and see. But once I have all my money saved up, my 250 is going to Hasbro. Peace.